I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. We first told you about the controversy on Wednesday. Now some are questioning if the bank's enforcement of its policy broke city law. Senior reporter Jake Wasikowski uncovered the story and is live with the latest development tonight. Jake. Jen and Craig, the local Anti-Defamation League, says, you know, at the very least, it lacks sensitivity. Well, the bank may also be breaking the law. Tuesday at noon, police respond to an incident at the Security National Bank at 78th and Cass. A Muslim woman walked into the breezeway to open a bank account and called her husband. That's when she says the door was locked, and she was asked to take off her hijab, a religious headscarf. Here's the photo of what she was wearing. She says she explained three times she couldn't because of her religion, but eventually did. She says they still refused to let her in. What is this piece of clothing? Her friends are upset that she wasn't treated like an equal human being in a discriminatory way. This headscarf is nothing to be afraid of. You know, this is something that we wear because we believe that it's a command from God. The bank says they frequently ask customers to remove headwear or anything covering their face for security reasons. In December, they were robbed at gunpoint by two people who cover their faces. Finding that balance is, is key. Mary it's Beth Muskin is the regional director with the Anti-Defamation League. She says their security policies should be revised. We have to understand what we're looking at to make policies and procedures that are thoughtful and respectful of all community members. The bank may have violated city law. Under the Place of Public Accommodation Ordinance, any business offering goods or services to the public can't discriminate against anyone because of their race, religion, sexual orientation, and other categories. I think that our laws are there to be a guideline as, as we really work at traversing this slippery slope of how to b make that balance between security and, and respect. Now, we received a statement yesterday from Security National Bank who said that they didn't try to discriminate in any way and were sorry if uh, so they had offended someone in any way. And the Omaha Police Department says that they are not investigating any violation yet because no report has been filed. The ADL says that they do anti-biased workshops and also work with businesses to review these sort of policies. Reporting live at 72nd and Cass, 78th and Cass, excuse me, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. The nation's largest Muslim civil rights group is speaking out about the Omaha case. The Council on American Islamic Relations says the bank should change its policy so it protects the rights of women who wear the hijab. The group says it has worked with other banks to develop guidelines that promote both security and religious freedom. It says banks in New Jersey and Michigan have made those changes in the past three years. Many of you are sounding off about the questions of security and religious freedom in this case. Rev J said, they make me remove my ball cap and sunglass, sunglasses every time I go into my bank. I've been with them for 10 years. No big deal. Don't make it one. Omar wrote, it's against her religion to remove the scarf, you ignorant people. Join the debate and learn the latest on the story at our website, KMTV.com.